So I took your, your little simple example of a PHP, which I've put in my text editor here, and I've called it simple.php. So here's what I do. What I want to try and do is create a file type to just pick out these bits here and nothing else. So to do that, you have to create a custom file type. So you go to Studio, and you go to File, Options, File Types, New, and click on the regular expression delimited text. Say OK. And in here, I'll just call this my PHP. You can call it anything you like. And I also like to fill in the file type identifier. And I use the same thing there, file PHP, just because that's what shows up in the orange tag. Then I change the file dialog, dialog wildcard expression so that it recognizes the PHP extension and say finish. So that's it. So I've created my file type. That was simple enough. But now I need to create some rules, and those rules need to extract just the text I want and nothing else. So I'm going to get rid of this default, I'm going to, and I'm going to create some more. So what I do is I go back to my file type. And to create the regular expressions, I use a little program called regexbuddy, just because it's easy for me to do it that way. So I'll show you as I'm going through it and explain what I'm doing. If I pull that up, here's my regexbuddy here. You can see it's put a copy of the text down here. And all I'm going to do is create my expressions. I just want to match. So basically, I'm going to start at the beginning of the segment. So that little caret symbol means start at the beginning. And then I'm going to say to find anything, which is a dot, and then keep finding anything. So so far, I've highlighted everything. But then I want to say don't find absolutely everything else. Just go until you find um, this equals with a, um, a greater than symbol on it. Now, if I just put the equals and a greater than symbol on it, it's going to find everything up to the last one. So I need to put in here a little limiter so that it, the expression is not greedy. And I put a question mark in there. And then that says, just keep finding it until you come across the first one. I probably don't want dot matches line breaks. I think that's better. That's just because Studio is going to use this anyway, in um, this particular setting. So don't um, get too hung up over that. OK, so. Now I've selected everything in separate ones. You can see it's yellow, blue, yellow. So I know I've selected it correctly. I then want to pick up a space. So I use a slash S for that. And then the apostrophe. And that picks up the first part. So if I just copy that, and I go back to Studio, and I put that in as my opening pattern, and then my closing pattern, I just want to pick up these bits at the end. So for that, I'm just going to say pick up the apostrophe, the comma, and then I'm going to put, just in case, I'm going to put a dollar symbol, which means start, go right to the end. So find these two things at the end. So I copy those, and I put that in as the closing pattern. And then just add it, and click OK, and that's it. And now if I open that file, if we did it right, just to test it, there we go. That's what you want, and you can see I've it, it tells me my PHP, which is the name of the file type. It does that because if I go to the View tab and make sure I'm in tab, tab, ID, tab, Tag ID mode, it will show the file type name that I used. If you use the other ones, it just shows you different things like the name of the file and the path to the file. But the Tag ID shows that you which file type you use. So I can be sure I use the right one. And there we go. It's just pulled out the text that I wanted. So hopefully that helps.